If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. What's up guys, it's Beef Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you some more insane trading methods that can help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. Now, if you are enjoying the content or you are new around here, I ask that you do please drop a like on the video, hit that thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it and it helps me out a ton. And then make sure to check out all those links in the description, like Twitch for all my daily live streams, Discord for all sorts of trading advice and investments, and all the other links down there as well, which include all my other channels. And with all that said, let's go ahead and let's jump right into these trading methods. So again, guys, today we're going to be looking at some new methods that have come from the league SBCs that got released. And specifically today, we're going to be looking at the era divisi here. So the first thing we're going to be looking at with the era divisi is we're just going to be looking at all era divisi cards. And right now, these are all selling for basically 600 coins. They can kind of insta sell for like 550 Basically, it would take like minute, minute and a half. So we're going to be selling at 600 coins here. Now, selling at 600, you're going to lose only 30 on tax. So when I'm mass bidding on cards like this, typically I'm going to try to pick these up for about 450 coins a piece. And if you're able to pick up at this price, you're going to be picking these up at such a quick rate that you're going to be making crazy coins off the back of this. So we're going to go through and kind of mass bid 450 on these cards and see how many of these we end up picking up. And if 450 isn't working, then that's when we're going to go through and do 500. And it looks like 450 honestly isn't working. So that's kind of the thing with these methods is, is you have to kind of be adaptable to them. So we see 450 isn't really going to work for bidding price. So I'm going to go through, go through and do is bid 500 on all these cards and see how many of them I'm going to end up picking up. Now I'm going to flip ahead a few pages here and start bidding on these cards let's hit these bronze cards because i know these can sell for 650 as well so i could still make over 100 coins per card after tax and again at 100 coins per card after tax which is typically the profits i try to hit you're in if you're doing a method like this where you can pick up 10 cards a minute we're talking 60k an hour just like that and you know maybe you not you'd be a little conservative with your estimation call it 50k an hour that's still unbelievable profit right there for just trading with these league sbc cards so we're gonna bid on all of these real quick do like five more here and then kind of show you how many of those we end up winning and the profit we can make but we're going to move on to the next method here which is so basically with these league sbcs they have the this certain as part of the sbc that says like you need a 11 players from one club which makes it so that some of these certain clubs go up in price a lot more for example psv here they have a, a not a they don't have 11 gold cards so some of these silvers and bronzes that help get that rating go up in price a good amount so if we look at psv here their cheapest silver the center mid here is going for about a thousand coins and if we bump it up here they got another center back there they got some other cards these are all going for about a thousand coins right now so you want to try to pick these up for like 800 or less and the thing with a with a filter like this as you can see they have so many silver cards is a lot of people are going to stop bidding at these cards at like 600 coins for example because they'll be doing the method we were doing before they'll be like oh these cards sell for like 650 700 so the max we're going to bid is that whereas when you do a filter like this you realize that these psv silvers are actually going for about a thousand coins so you can go and pick these up and that's what it's typically like with some of these bigger clubs for example let's go look at ajax here how much are their silvers going for well, that doesn't really help us. We need to look at the buy now here. So their silvers are actually a little bit on the cheaper end here. These are going for about 800 coins, but that means we can pick these up for 600 a piece and still be making great profit after tax. So it's looking for little filters like this where stuff is kind of just above the price of the minimum of the normal cards, if that makes sense. So the minimum of, of the normal cards, and this example would be like 600 coins for all Era Divisi cards, but these cards go like 800 to 1,000 coins. So a lot of people are going to stop bidding at them at that normal price, whereas we know these go a bit higher, which is nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these cards, see what we've been winning. Now, 500 here, you can see we're actually winning these cards relatively consistently. We're not getting outbid much. Now, when it comes to a method like this where you're mass bidding, winning tons of cards, what I tell people is to value your transfer list space 
over the amount of coins you make per card. Now, what does that mean here? What that means is I'm not going to go through and check the price of every single card here. Now, you can do that. There's going to be some cards that go for more than others. But what I like to do is I like to quickly just list them all for the same exact price, get them on my transfer list, and get right back to bidding. Because the big thing here is hitting the quantity. You want to get as many cards as possible. And if you're sitting here checking cards prices, every single card you list up, you're not going to be making a ton of coins because you're going to spend a majority of your time flicking through the compare price thing, checking the prices of these cards. Whereas a majority of your time should be sat here bidding on these cards, trying to win as many as possible. Now, depending on the price you're listing at, it's going to take different amount of times for cards like this to sell. Like if you're selling at 600, these cards are going to sell relatively quickly, especially if it's not something like a bronze goalkeeper. These bronze goalkeepers are the only things that take time to sell at 600. Outside that, you're going to be selling these cards very, very quickly at 600, especially the gold cards will almost insta sell at 600 coins. As you can see here, it takes about two minutes to sell at 600. So when you're selling these cards, typically 650 is going to be that price unless you're looking at, again, something like a bronze goalkeeper here who will take a bit longer. So like maybe when I go through and sell, I just keep that in mind. And like these bronze goalkeepers, I list for 600 and the rest of the stuff I list for 650. So I'm not checking the price on every single item, but I am kind of adjusting the prices that I'm selling at on these cards just to kind of be more efficient with my transfer list space. So it's kind of just knowing little tricks like that, basically, that's going to help you out. And again, it's something that you need to be adaptable to for these prices, because these are always going to be changing. It's something that you always need to kind of adapt to. And again, I'm just going to list these all 600 so we can show you some sales in this video, just to show you that these do sell relatively quickly. If you want to take those small profits, again, this is going to be 70 coins a card after tax, which you pick up 10 a minute, which I think is a very fair estimation. You're making 700 coins a minute. Multiply that by uh, by 60. What are you looking at? Seven times 60 you're looking at forty-two thousand coins an hour with that if you're making 700 coins a card 10 cards a minute forty-two thousand coins an hour really can't complain with that if i'm honest so a lot of people again turn their noses at methods like these because you know you're if you're like me you're sitting on 1.4 million coins people are gonna be like oh i shouldn't be making 70 coins a card but I mean, this is better than sitting there and staring at icons for two hours and not getting a single card that you pick up. Whereas if you did this for two hours, you make 84,000 coins and you're halfway to buying an icon just like that. I mean, it's, it's simple things like this that are going to make you the most coins on this game. And especially these methods like these IX and PSV cards that go for a little bit more than that minimum era to busy level. So they're going to be relatively easy to pick up. And you can see we got cards selling 650 cards selling 700 or 600. It does depend, but these cards do just sell more as they get closer to expiring. Because obviously, as you know, when you kind of go into the transfer market and search up like, Oh, cheapest era to busy cards here. The ones that are closest to expiring are going to be the ones that pop up first. So once our cards get closer to expiring, that's when they're going to sell. And yeah, just make really easy coins off the back of this. And you can see these these sales just keep happening. It says that we got another two cards that sold. It just has not updated yet on our transfer list. But yeah, easy coins with these area to busy methods. Loving these league SBCs right now and the trading opportunities that they're presenting to us. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.